When you finish your script, you have a few options. You could go to someone to try and get an investor if you don't have the money to do it and get someone to produce it for you, direct it for you. There are some downsides to that because it suddenly may not be yours anymore, your vision anymore, and you may lose control over it. Um, your name may not even end up on it if it's not, not negotiated properly. If it's realistic for you to shoot it, let's say it doesn't have tons of explosions and action effects, um, if you can do it, you should try to. And you don't need to run up your credit cards. There are a lot of people out there that are willing to barter to just do a project simply for credit and for a copy of the film, which if that's what they're going to do it for, you have to honor that. You absolutely have to. In my case, I made sure that I bought a camera because the one thing I learned from that experience was if the cameraman didn't show up, that meant the camera didn't show up and we could still shoot otherwise. And you have to think out of the box of what does this film need? How do I get it into there if you need to provide food for people? There are even places like shops that are opening up that would like the advertisement and if you give them a credit sometimes they're willing to give you some food for the set. So there's all different ways you can uh, accomplish it. You just have to know that there are people out there that will benefit from helping you because it benefits them. And if you can think in that way, you'll, you'll find tons of resources. And it's easier for your next script to maybe go to someone and get an investment to get a production house to be interested in it. Um, so it, you create your own calling card if you can do it yourself.